Now more than ever, we're learning just how important building strong connections with others is for our happiness, longevity and overall wellness. An 85-year Harvard study discovered that the number one thing that makes us feel happy and live longer is positive relationships with romantic partners and friends. But how people should go about developing those connections, especially friendships, isn't so straightforward. To remedy this sometimes intimidating process, Julie Rice and Elizabeth Cutler created Peoplehood, a workout for your relationships, to help people find community. The fitness entrepreneurs previously co-founded SoulCycle in 2006, with Ruth Zuckerman who left the company in 2009. Don't miss. I meditated 5 minutes a day for a month. Here's how the practice changed my outlook on life. One thing that we realized at SoulCycle pretty quickly was that people came for the workout. But what they really stayed for was each other. Rice tells CNBC Make It. What we began to understand was that the community that people found, the support that they had with other people, was just as important a benefit of what they were getting out of Soul Cycle as the physical changes to their bodies. Nearly two decades after founding Soul Cycle, the pair launched their first peoplehood space in New York City earlier this year to encourage people to improve their social wellness. Peoplehood offers hour-long sessions, called, gathers, for people to connect with others. There are several types of gathers. Motherhood, for moms, couplehood, which are guided conversations for pairs and peoplehood for individuals to engage with new people and hopefully form friendships. To get a better sense of the experience, I attended a peoplehood gather. Here's what the experience was like for me. When you first arrive at the Peoplehood location in the Chelsea neighborhood of Manhattan, you're greeted by a receptionist who gives you an assigned seat and a name tag that includes a personal question. I chose a tag that asked what show I was currently watching, and just like that, by the way. In the common area, there's a mini cafe, so I grabbed a warm matcha to get myself settled. Phones are not allowed in the room where you gather but lockers are available to securely stash your belongings. Once the rest of my group arrived, we were given time before the gather to network and briefly introduce ourselves. Thanks to the prompts, I found out their most recent purchases and what they're secretly good at before learning anything else about them. It was a cool and different way to connect based on our similarities and unique interests. In the room where the session takes place, Chairs were set up in a circle which sort of felt like group therapy, and someone jokingly noted its likeness before the gather began. Peoplehood gathers are led by a guide, and she prompted us to start the experience with breathwork.